Froggy's Best Christmas by Jonathan London It was the night before Christmas and Froggy was dreaming of snow. He had months of dreaming to go before it was time to wake up for spring. Thump, thump. In the dream, Max was tossing snowballs against Froggy's window. Froggy, called his friend. What? But it wasn't a dream at all. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Max, Max, he shouted. He hopped out of bed, flop, 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 and opened the door. Merry Christmas, Froggy, yelled Max, and gave him a present. Wow, said Froggy, this is my first Christmas present. This is your first Christmas, said Max. You always sleep through it. I've heard all about Christmas, said Froggy. Now I can celebrate it, yippee and Froggy went to look for a gift for Max. Flop, flop, flop. I found the perfect one, he said. What is it? asked Max as he tore open the box. My soccer ball, the one I kicked for our winning goal at the City Cup. Gee, thanks, said Max, juggling the ball on his knees. Now open your present. Froggy tore off the wrapping paper and opened the box. Inside, there was a drawing of a Christmas tree. Gee, thanks, said Froggy. I always wanted a drawing of a Christmas tree. No, no, said Max. I'm giving you a real Christmas tree. Wow, said Froggy. What a friend. Christmas, Max said. It's about friends. Yes, shouted Froggy. Let's go find Matthew and Travis. And he rushed to his room to get dressed. Zoop, zip, zut, 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 snap, snap, swip, zum. Then he flopped outside. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called Max. What? Did you forget something? What? Me. And together, they went off through the snow to wake up their friends from their long winter naps. First, they woke up Matthew. Wake up, wake up, they shouted. And Matthew the turtle yawned and crawled out of his home beside the pond. Then they woke up Travis. Wake up, wake up, they shouted. And Travis the bear yawned and crawled out from his cave under the snow. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, said Froggy and Max. This is my first Christmas ever, said Matthew. Mine too, said Travis. And together they all trudged off through the snow to find the perfect Christmas tree. Here's one, cried Froggy. Nah, it's too skinny, said Max. Here's one, said Matthew. Nah, it's too fat said Max. Here's one, he hollered, the perfect tree. And Max the beaver gnawed and gnawed and gnawed until timber, thunk. Then together they dragged the tree home through the snow. Christmas, said Max when, when they got there, is about friends and family too and he scampered off and came back with his grandma and grandpa. And everybody's help, Froggy put up the tree and trimmed it with popcorn chains and pine cones. Then with some paint and glue, Froggy turned the biggest cone into a tiny tree and wrapped it for his dad, painted and wrapped a picture for his mom and put them under the tree. It's not much, said Froggy, but mom and dad like it when I make things all by myself. Besides, said Max, it's the spirit of giving that counts. And now, said Froggy, for the star. He made a star out of foil, then pushed a chair against the tree and climbed and reached and stretched 
untouched. Timber, shouted Max. Thunk. Froggy, yelled his mother and father. What? As they came in, their eyes as big as sugar plums. Oops, croaked Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Merry Christmas! And it was a Merry Christmas. Together they opened presents, rip, roasted chestnuts, crackle, sang carols, fa la 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 la, ate a feast, munch crunch munch, and had a snowball fight. Oof. This is my best Christmas ever, said Froggy. Ours too, said Matthew and Travis. This is your first Christmas ever, said Max, and everybody laughed. Merry Christmas to you all, shouted Froggy, and his friends waved goodbye. And to all a good night, boomed Santa Owl. Ho, ho, ho.